Hey, thanks for joining us today. This is Grace Bridge Youth Group for September 6th. A few housekeeping items. On the 13th, September 13th, we are going to have a youth group Sunday here at church. So you and your family are invited to join us at 10 a.m. for our live stream service, but here. Um, and we're going to have it dedicated to you and your families. Um, also, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can follow along each week. I don't know about you. Um, I kind of say that a lot, but I don't know about you. This week has been kind of a sad week. Uh, in the middle of the week, I found out about the passing of Chadwick Boseman. Um, if you might know Chadwick from a couple movies, uh, 42, um, but uh, a couple movies like 42, the one that you probably know him most from is the Marvel movies. Um, he starred as Black Panther um, in a handful of Marvel films. Uh, me and Audrey were, were sad about his passing um, of colon cancer. So this past week, we watched Black Panther again, one of our favorites. Probably, if I had to put it on a list, it's my top two Marvel films, favorite Marvel films. Um, and, and while we were watching it, um, I was blown away again by the uh, imagery and the reminding of the message that Jesus shares with us. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to go through these, uh, kind of a gospel according to Black Panther. Um, there's really cool things that we're reminded of in these movies. Um, so if you want to pause right here, go watch the movie and come back. Um, that would be awesome. Or watch this class and watch the movie before next week so you can follow along a little bit closer. The, the one thing that really stuck out with me um, right from the beginning uh, was, was, it was after this kinging ceremony um, for T'Challa. So if you remember in the story, um, in, in, uh, it's uh, Captain America Civil War, T'Challa's dad was killed. Um, and so we pick up from his story right there after his death, and now they have to crown a new king. Um, and uh, the ceremony and the process of that reminds me a lot of what a lot of us have been through in baptism. If you remember, if you watch the movie and remember, um, there's this process that goes in. Everybody gets dressed up. They're dancing. They're, they're celebrating their culture in a way. And, uh, and they're, they're trying to crown a new king. Here's how the ceremony works, right? They ride the boats in, they get on the side of the cliff, um, and they have all the different tribes. Chadwick uh, T'Challa is standing at the bottom wearing his traditional garb, uh, and the, the, the power of the Black Panther is taken from him. Um, and then he is offered up to fight anyone who would like to uh, take the spot of king, right? There's this, this, this deep... Uh, a ritual going on, but also an actual fight. The scene plays out where each of the tribes pass. His sister makes a joke. Um, and right before they decide to crown T'Challa king there in the moment, you hear the ooh coming from the mountains. Um, it's the Jabari tribe, the Jabari tribe. Mbaku comes out. He's like the king of the Jabari. Um, they're part of their clan uh, to fight T'Challa. Um, and if you remember the fight, T'Challa gets stabbed in the side. They wrestle. Um, and what they say about the fight is either to submission or to death. It's reminded me of Romans. I'm going to read out of Romans 6 here. What shall we say then? Romans 6, verse 1. Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it, live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we, are, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, um, uh, through the glory of the Father, we too may have new life. So this process for, for becoming king of Wakanda um, starts with this fight to death. Um, and then we kind of keep going in the story of this ritual. So after the fight, um, eventually T'Challa gets a hold of M'Baku and uh, submits him, right? He's like, you got to tap out, man. Don't make me kill you. Like, you got to tap out. Um, and and he, he has now become the king. He's, he's crowned king with the laying on of the necklace that's on his Black Panther suit as well. And then it goes into the mountain where there's the uh, the Garden of the uh, Purple Hearts, I think is what it's called. 
Um, and then they go through this process of, of reinviting the Black Panther into Ch- to T'Challa, the powers of the Black Panther. Um, and if you remember what happened, right? Uh, well, well, let's actually, let's watch this scene for a second. All right, guys, so here's the thing. I was actually uh, working on this video and I had posted it online. And uh, I was gonna show this scene of T'Challa um, being buried. But if, you, if you'll see right here, um, Disney hit me with a copyright claim. So since I'm not, I couldn't, I'm not able to show it to you, I'm gonna kind of go through a short uh, summary of it. Again, watch the movie, it's wonderful. So here we go. This is what it looks like. T'Challa has just won his fight. He goes and lays down on the dirt and um, uh, uh, Yuri, his, his uh, uncle, um, his um, godfather figure in the way, um, gives him the heart-shaped herb um, tea that he pours into his mouth and then they bury him. So this is him being buried. Um, and then he wakes up in the plain of the ancestors. Um, this is where it, uh, he looks up in the tree, sees the panthers. Um, and then his father goes from a panther into um, his father figure, which uh, we'll see right here. This is him talking. Uh, if you remember the most important part about this kind of part is where uh, his dad said, what kind of father did not prepare his son for his passing? I'll talk about this more in a sec. But, and then at the end of the scene, he comes up and he's like, my dad was there, my dad was there. And then it goes into his whole coronation section. So again, I wish I could have shown you the scene, but Disney took me down. Um, so uh, watch the movie and then we'll get back to the video right here. See ya. Um, it's amazing to see uh, what we saw in Romans right here, right? First, you fight to the death. There's a death in the process. A letting go of the old self. And the T'Challa goes and is buried. I, I, I was watching this movie and I was blown away. I was like, oh, it's reminding me so much of what my baptism was like. Um, you deny your old self. You die to your old self and are raised in Christ. There's this burial, this laying down. The process of being baptized in water is a burial um, that happens. And I, was, I really love this scene. Um, where T'Challa goes into the sand and he rises up in the plane of the ancestors and he gets to see his dad again. Hey, I missed you. I don't know what to do. And the, the father says, what kind of father would I be if I did not prepare you for me leaving? Right? Jesus says in John that it's better for him to go so that the Holy Spirit can come on us. They can be in us. And it's, bare, it's better for him to go so that we can be his hands and feet in this world. Just like T'Challa talks to his dad, um, so is our baptism the way we invite the Spirit into us. Uh, and then at the end, T'Challa's raised from the dirt. He comes out, he's breathing. Oh, can't breathe, can't breathe. I saw my dad there. Um, and, and there's this new life. He was prince before, now he is king. Um, and he's, he's actually blessed again with the powers of the Black Panther, um, which I thought is a really cool allusion to what it looks like for the spirit to be in us, this difference. Um, I'm going to read another verse that kind of points, points this out. This is Colossians 2, 12 and 13. Having been buried with him, Christ Jesus, in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through your faith and working of God, who raised him from the dead. When you were dead in your sins and uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive in Christ. He forgave all our sins. In the movie of Black Panther, this is kind of the, the, the first turning point um, for his life. Uh, a lot of things happen in the rest of the movie, and we're going to kind of look at different ways we can learn about from those in the coming weeks. Um, but something happens, and now T'Challa has to do something with it. He is blessed to be king of Wakanda. He is blessed with the power of the Black Panther, and now he has to do something with it. His life has changed. His role has changed. And as Christians, that's what our baptism represents. We are, we, we, we are buried with Christ, raised with him, and now our lives change. And we begin to look different and act different. We fail, we get picked back up, and we keep going. But there's something that happens. And then our lives are changed. If you've never been baptized, I would love to talk to you about it. Um, um, Christ Jesus has promised us a wonderful, wonderful gift and blessing through his spirit um, that we can access 
uh, with faith in Christ. Um, so if you have not, I would love to talk to you about it. And if you have, remember it, celebrate it. When you watch Black Panther this week, think about your own baptism um, and see how, how you died to your old ways and are raised new. Um, think about the powers that you have, right? Um, you are a powerful person who can make powerful decisions because of the spirit that is in you. Love you guys. God bless you. Um, Y'all have a great week.